This is the most ridiculously crazy thing I've ever seen. What's good, my fellow peasants? This is insane. So there were rumors and I didn't believe it because I thought some peasants were having me on. When they said that Marvel and Final Fantasy, Square Enix slash Square Enix, I mean, it's kind of implying that this is Final Fantasy because they're saying it's for the 30th anniversary. That's what the articles were saying. I kind of thought they were having me on because honestly, this is too much of a coincidence. Two days ago, I was creating a Marvel peasant channel with a good friend of mine. You've all met him, Rob, who was on the live stream. P.O.B., you all loved him. You said he should have his own channel. He's setting up a Marvel peasant channel. In fact, I'll show you after I've watched this trailer. <laughs> and no less than two days after I've started setting up a Marvel peasant channel, this comes out. Coincidence? I think not. They're watching me, guys. Square Enix are watching me. Um, holy crap, Square Enix and Marvel. I mean, what the hell is this going to be? Is it Final Fantasy? What, what would happen? I can't even picture it. I can't imagine how this collab would even gel well. I mean, what would it be? Fucking the Hulk? wrestling Sabin. <laughs> I mean, what would happen? Would it be Terra in her astral form taking on Iron Man? <laughs> I just, I can't even, I can't. Let's just watch the trailer, guys, and uh, go from there. My body is not ready. <sighs> Marvel, pe have I pressed it? Come on! They say the time of heroes is over. Is it? Is it? That's got to be Hulk. Square Enix. Oh god, it's actually true. Force hammer. Let me see something Final Fantasy. But I know Crystal, the ooh, Crystal Dynamics. Wait, no, that's Tomb Raider. I guess is that Iron Man's hand? The world and will I always need heroes. Isn't that Deus Ex? Wait. To reassemble. Is this no? Where's the Final Fantasy? Come on. Come on. Something Final Fantasy. No! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. oh, but it's real. It said Square Enix. It said Marvel. Is this ain't some sort of April Fool's Day on January. Oh my God, peasants. That's crazy. By the way, sorry. I, I, in my hype, I've got Goofy Headset engaged and now disengaged. Um. Wow! Nothing Final Fantasy though. So that was everything Marvelish. I mean, that kind of makes sense. It says it's leading with the Avengers project. So I don't know. Are they just working together on a project, but they'll still say separate? So Marvel will still say stay Marvel, and they'll have just Marvel characters. And then it might go over to Square Enix stuff. And then will even the Square Enix stuff be Final Fantasy? Because uh, the interesting thing about that, I hope I haven't got this wrong, guys. Correct me in the comment section. Uh, Crystal Dynamics, that is Tomb Raider games. And Idos Montreal is the Deus Ex games. I'm just going to go away and do some research, guys, and I'll come back. But this is crazy. Okie dokie, piddly pokey peasants. So I've gone away. I've done a bit of research. I've pulled up the Marvel peasant page just to verify. <laughs> Look at it. Marvel peasant and um, me and my friend two days ago not even as much as a week ago we were discussing it discussing what videos we're going to start putting up uh, what we're going to be working on he's going to be doing most of it so don't fear my final fantasy peasants it's not taking me from the final fantasy peasant channel it's just going to be a thing i'm just going to dip in and out of and we were going to do some pretty cool cross collabing between final fantasy and marvel <laughs> This is crazy. Um, but yeah, so I did see something on this yesterday. Uh, Square Enix yesterday, they said, look forward to a big announcement tomorrow. I'm guessing this is the big announcement. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, going through this, this confirms what I said. Uh, yeah, Tomb Raider is a uh, Crystal Dynamics. Idos Montreal is the Deus Ex and Thief games. Um, so that's really interesting that they're involved in this. That's very, that's very interesting. It's not really anything to indicate Final Fantasy, but... But, 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 it could be Tomb Raider, guys. I think I might have got ahead of myself with thinking it was Final Fantasy, even though they did say it was the 30th anniversary. Um, I mean, where does it say? I think it even says it here somewhere. Uh, yeah, 2017 is the 30th anniversary. Though there is nothing that connects this teaser to the series. I saw something like that yesterday. That's what made me think it was Final Fantasy. But people are now saying, and I've gone away and researched, that it's the rise of the Tomb Raider. It's come out that there's a sequel, someone got caught on a train station and it was called Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Someone was on his laptop, 
someone peeked in and saw that he was working on a PowerPoint presentation. Now, we don't know who the fuck this guy is. I mean, he could be anyone. He could just be some random fanboy. I mean, I don't know. There was nothing to say this guy was actually a high up. But what gives it a bit more validity if we go over to Kotaku or decide to dig a bit deeper is that this guy, Jason Shrilblum, <coughs> Kotaku, he says that his inside source confirms it. Now, Kotaku have a pretty good reputation. So the next game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, is looking pretty realistic. Uh, it goes into a bit more about what was on the guy's laptop. So he said the page he was on talked about visuals. I'm from Montreal QC. I was going downtown for work and I took a quick snap. Oh, wait, no, that's the guy who took it. <laughs> I mean, this whole thing is just shrouded in so much confusion. Um, coincidentally, IDOS Montreal is just a few minutes away from Ubisoft Montreal. Those employees accidentally revealed Assassin's Creed 4 black flag on an airplane three years ago. Dragon Age 4 got leaked on a cruise ship. That's just saying, stuff like this has happened. There have been leaks where it's just been caught out in public, people on their laptops and whatnot. But, I mean, when this has happened, I'm surprised that they don't ban um, their staff from working in public areas. I mean, that's just, that's just common fucking sense. That's like, remember when we see the Final Fantasy uh, 15 and they, they got, they wised up to, um, blurring out the screens because I think we all got a snap of Ifrit on one employee's computer right at the back. And I mean, and that's Square Enix's headquarters. But when you're on the fucking public. <laughs> but there it is, guys. That's the trailer. Um, really nothing. Absolutely nothing to go on. If any of you have any more inside information, please let me know if it's any leaks, any rumors, anything whatsoever. I really want to keep my ear close to this one in particular. I'm pretty excited. What do you think it could be? I th I'm kind of feeling like Final Fantasy is out of the um, out of the equation at this point, based on those companies that involved. But I don't know. We'll, I mean, we could be hopeful. I and would you be up for the collab? That's the other thing. I personally would. I've said earlier today. I like collabs. I think they're cool. I don't mind crossovers. I mean, I suppose it's based on what the collab is. Um, there's some collabs that make sense. Um, Final Fantasy and Marvel. I really can't picture it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have fun uh, picturing the scenarios, but fuck it. Let me know in the comment section below. Until the next video, my darling peasants, Koopo.